Okay, I'm going to try to make this really short um, because stage three is really the quickest one. Um, and stage four is going to be a lot more complicated, so let's do this quickly. We're looking at any other global changes, and by global I mean just like big picture changes to this image before we start doing colorizing because any major changes that we make in colorizing is going to be affected by what the base layer looks like. So we have to make sure that we've gotten all the spots that we want. You know, a little fleck here and there is not a big deal, but like I missed part of her hair, so I definitely need to fix that. If I could heal. Um, and then I'm gonna fix the general color. Um, so right now this picture is kind of like greenish I guess um, so one way for me to fix that is to do a color balance um, so I made it a little bit more like red toned um, I can open this up so you can see so I upped the red a little bit I up the blue I downed towards magenta that gave me the under color that I wanted um, is a little warm versus being kind of cool and that will help I think with skin tones, um, one way I can see that is by turning on the colorizing that I already did, um, and it kind of feeds with the warmth. Um, the other option is, so that's, the first option was color balance, right here, color balance, right? Um, the other option is to do black and white. Um, I think there's a black and white option in photo filter, but black and white is, um, so it brings up this panel, and what I did was this. So as soon as I clicked black and white, it, it went completely black and white, completely devoid of color. But the reason why you absolutely have to do this before you start colorizing is that my colorizing looks completely different on a true black and white image than it does on a color balanced image than it does on the non-color balanced image. And part of the reason why it's really important is I can get away if this part of my picture is looks kind of white or gray, I can get away with not painting in the whites of the eyes. I can get away with just leaving them blank. I don't even think I adjusted the color of her eye in my colorizing. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't add any color to her eyes because when I was working on it, it was dark enough in the right way that it was believably like a dark, dark brown. Um, I could do both if I wanted to. This one looks a little purpley. I would definitely change some things if I was gonna do both but you really only need to do one. I'm gonna leave mine on um, the color balance version because I do like that warmth. And I skipped doing a background initially because I felt like this was a believable like wall. So imagining that maybe this was her passport picture and a grayish, whitish wall would make sense. If you want to do some blurring you can make sure I'm in the right layer. I'm going to do the retouching layer. Um, if we want to kind of blur it a little bit um, without it being blurry, um, which might help with some of the texture in her face and down here, um, we can obviously, we can use the blur tool, uh, which is down here. Let's smudge. This is a blur. Um, and we can blur out things that are... A little rough. I might need a bigger brush. All right, we can blur some things out. Um, we can also denoise. So some of this is what's considered noise. It's like graininess. It's texture. So I can go to filter noise, reduce noise, 
and I can adjust so if this is like the strongest preserving details is how she how much of like the fine tuning details are visible color noise I don't think that really makes a big difference for us here sharpen details so sharper is going to bring some things back but like that's too sharp for what I did to edit her eye um, I might want to do less sharp details so that everything kind of blends in and that helps me a lot um, I can also once I've gotten this like super version I if I need to tone it down a little bit I can do the lower the strength so that looks more like the original this is uh, maybe a little too blurred but I'll turn it down to eight and that should be good okay and now I've got a better canvas to add my colorizing on to all right so next video will be about colorizing but you've got a great starting point here for for that colorizing stage.